today we are going to discuss the topic seek and method in the previous lecture we discussed newton's method for finding the roots of an equation of the form f of x equal to 0 but this method has a major drawback that is in newton's method we have to find the value of the derivative f at each approximation in newton's method in each approximation we have to find the value of the derivative also we have f dash of x is far more difficult to calculate than f of x so to avoid this problem of finding derivative in newton's method we can use the secant method so by definition we have f dash of you know f dash of x at the point a equal to limit x approaches to a f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a this is the definition of the derivative of f at the point a so the derivative of f at the point pn minus 1 is equal to limit x tends to pn minus 1 f of x minus f of pn minus 1 divided by x minus pn minus 1 so that is replacing a by pn minus 1 pn is the nth approximation of uh, the root p if pn minus 2 is close to pn minus 1 we have this limit is approximately equal to that is f dash of pn minus 1 is approximately equal to f of pn minus 2 minus f of pn minus 1 divided by pn minus 2 minus pn minus 1 that is equal to f of pn minus 1 minus f of pn minus 2 divided by pn minus 1 minus pn minus 2 that is multiplying uh, and dividing by minus 1 so f dash of pn minus 1 is equal to this now we have the newton's formula pn is equal to pn minus 1 minus f of pn minus 1 divided by f dash of pn minus 1 so replacing uh, f dash of pn minus 1 by this we get this pn is equal to pn minus 1 minus uh, f of pn minus 1 divided by f dash of pn minus 1 that is the reciprocal of this that is pn minus 1 minus pn minus 2 divided by f of pn minus 1 minus f of pn minus 2 this method is called the sequence method in the case of newton raphson method we have to find the derivative of f at each iteration or approximation but here we need only to find the value of f uh, at the point pn, mi PN minus 1 and pn minus 2 right to uh, in, in in each of uh, the iteration okay that is the difference between the secant method and the newton's method so we need only do the uh, functional values of f in uh, the secant method but in newton raphson method we need only one initial approximation that is p0 but here we need two initial approximations p0 and p1 then only we have we can find p2 because here we have pn pn is equal to pn minus 1 minus f of pn minus 1 into pn minus 1 minus pn minus 2 divided by f of pn minus 1 minus f of pn minus 1 so uh, to find the value of uh, pn we need pn minus 1 and pn minus 2 for example uh, to find p2 uh, that is when n equal to 2 we have p1 minus f of p1 uh, into p1 minus p0 divided by f of p1 minus f of p0 so to find p2 we need p0 and p1 and then to find p3 we need p1 and p2 then using p2 and p3 we can find p4 etc so uh, starting with these two approximations p0 and p1 the approximation p2 is the x intercept of the line joining p0 f of p0 and p1 f of p1 and the approximation p3 is the x intercept of the line joining p1 f of p1 and p2 f of p2 and so on that means uh, p3 is the x intercept of the uh, line joining p2 f of p2 and p3 f of p3 etc so the pictorial representation of this secant method is actually let uh, this curve be y equal to f of x this is the graph of our given function y equal to f of x we are going to find the root of or we are going to approximate the root of this equation f of x equal to 0 so we are, if you are taking these p0 and p1 as initial approximations we know in secant method we need two initial approximation let p1 and p0 be the initial approximations then uh, the functional value of f of x at the point p0 is equal to this that is this is f of p0 and this point will be 
p0, f of p0. And the functional value of p1 is this. So this is f of p1 and this point will be uh, p1, f of p1. Now the line joining uh, these two points p0, f of p0 and p1, f of p1 is nothing but this. So this x intercept of this line is this. So this point will be taken as send the next approximation p2. Now to find p3, we need the function value of f at the point p2. So this will be the function value because we are this is meeting here. So this is f of p2 and this point will be uh, p2 comma f of p2. So now we are drawing the line joining between uh, these two points that is p1 f of p1 and p2 f of p2. So that this will be the, the this that line and the x intercept of that line is this that is we are taken as p3 and so on okay so in that manner we will we'll get uh, a sequence of points p0 p1 p2 etc and which will be which will converge just to the actual root p now we can discuss an example use secant method to find a solution to the equation x equal to cos x and compare the approximation with the approximations by newton's method so here the question is to find the approximated roots of this equation x equal to cos x or cos x minus x equal to 0. We already discussed or we already approximated the roots of this equation in the previous lecture by Newton's method. So we obtained the approximations as this by Newton's method that is p0 is equal to this, p1 is equal to this, p2 equal to this etc. So in that case, we are taken P0 as pi by 4. So this is by Newton's method. Okay. Now we have to compare these approximations with the uh, approximations by new secant method. So we are going to find the approximate roots by secant method. We have by secant method, we have Pn is equal to Pn minus 1 minus f of Pn minus 1 into Pn minus 1 minus Pn minus 2 divided by f of Pn minus 1 minus f of Pn minus 2. So this is the iterative formula of uh, roots in secant method. In secant method, we need two initial approximation. Let P0 equal to 0 0.5 and P1 is equal to pi by 4 be initial approximations here we have the function f of x is equal to cos x minus x because we have to find uh, the root of the equation cos x equal to x so f of x equal to cos x minus x so considering initial approximations as p0 equal to 0.5 and p1 is equal to pi by 4 to get the second approximation p2 we need to put uh, n equal to in this formula. So when putting n equal to, we have p2 equal to p1 minus f of p1 into p1 minus p0 divided by f of p1 minus f of p0. So here we have f of x equal to cos x minus x. So this is equal to p1 is equal to pi by 4 minus f of p1 that is f of pi by 4 into p1 minus p0 that is pi by 4 minus 0.5 divided by f of pn minus 1 that is f of p1 f of p1 that is f of pi by 4 minus f of p0 that is f of 0 0.5 so this is equal to since f of x equal to cos x minus x we can replace here that is pi by 4 minus f of pi by 4 is cos pi by 4 minus uh, pi by 4 into pi by 4 minus 0 0.5 divided by f of pi by 4 is again cos pi by 4 minus pi by 4 minus f of 0 0.5 that is cos 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 so this will be the next approximation so here uh, note that here we have we are using the, the gradient measure okay the angle in gradient measure so we can consider the 0 0.5 in, in, in radian measure. 
So by calculating this, we get the second approximation P2 as 0 0.736384138. You can verify this. So this is the second approximation. Now to get the third approximation, we have to put n equal to 3 in that formula that is P3 is equal to here we have Pn is equal to Pn minus 1 minus this. So we have P3 equal to P2 minus F of P2 into P2 minus P1 divided by F of P2 minus F of P1. So this is equal to P2 is equal to this point. This minus F of P2 we can find the value of. Now here we need or we need only to find the F of P2 because F of P1 is already we obtained. F of P1 is F of pi by 4 which is this. So in the next approximation onwards we need only to find uh, a functional value at one point only. So uh, finding this we will get the value of P3 as 0 0.73905813392. You can just verify this. In a similar manner we can find the next approximations uh, P4, P5 etc. And we will get the approximations as this. This is by Newton's method and this is by Seekin method. So you can just verify this. Here comparing these approximations of these uh, two methods, we can see that the Seekin method approximation P5 is accurate to the 10th decimal places whereas Newton's method obtained this accuracy in third iteration. That is the P5 in second method is same as P3 in Newton's method. Here we are taken P0 as 0 0.1 and P1 as pi by 4 in second method. But in Newton's method we are taken P0 as pi by 4 only. You can just verify these approximations by calculating by using the formula.